Ever noticed how some movie characters seem overly self-centered and manipulative? That's no accident. Many filmmakers deliberately weave the threads of narcissism into their characters, creating complex and often captivating portrayals. Narcissism, in the psychological sense, refers to a personality disorder characterized by grandiosity, lack of empathy, need for admiration, and often a sense of entitlement. And cinema, with its power to explore the human condition in all its shades, provides a rich canvas to paint these traits in all their raw and riveting detail. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on narcissism in cinema. We'll take a close look at examples of films with narcissistic main characters, categorized by their prominent narcissistic features. Our aim isn't to diagnose these characters, after all they're fictional, but to deepen our understanding of what makes them tick. We'll explore the grandiosity and manipulation in characters like Amy Dunn in Gone Girl and Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street. We'll delve into the lack of empathy and exploitative behavior portrayed by Patrick Bateman in American Psycho and Alex Forrest in Fatal Attraction. And we'll examine the fragile ego and need for admiration in characters like Terence Fletcher in Whiplash and Rigan Thompson in Birdman. But remember, context is key. The way these traits are portrayed can vary greatly from film to film. Some might glorify or romanticize narcissistic behavior, while others provide cautionary tales or explore the negative consequences of such traits. It's a complex and nuanced exploration that we're embarking on, and we invite you to join us on this journey. Ready to dive into the minds of these complex characters? Hold tight, it's going to be a fascinating ride. First, let's delve into the world of grandiosity and manipulation, a realm where narcissistic characters thrive. The silver screen gives us unforgettable examples of such characters. They're larger than life personas, often masking a deep-seated need for control and admiration. Take Amy Dunn from Gone Girl, for instance. This character, masterfully portrayed by Rosamund Pike, is a master manipulator. She carefully crafts her image, presenting herself as the perfect wife and victim, all while orchestrating a twisted plan that leaves everyone around her in shock. Her grandiosity is as impressive as it is terrifying, a testament to the power of narcissistic manipulation. Next, we switch gears to The Wolf of Wall Street, where Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Jordan Belfort, exudes arrogance and entitlement. His grandiose sense of self-importance is palpable as he exploits others for his own gain without a second thought. Belfort's grandiosity is not just a personality trait, it's a weapon he wields with ruthless precision. And who could forget Catherine Mertoy from Cruel Intentions? Played by Sarah Michelle Gellar, Catherine is a calculating manipulator who enjoys playing mind games and controlling others for her own amusement. Her grandiosity is wrapped in charm and sophistication, making her manipulation all the more insidious. These characters, while vastly different in their own ways, share common threads of grandiosity and manipulation. They use these traits to control their narratives, to shape the world around them to their liking. They are architects of their own reality, bending others to their will with a finesse that is as captivating as it is unsettling. The lengths these characters go to protect their self-image is both intriguing and chilling. They show us the darker side of narcissism, a side that is often hidden behind a veil of charisma and charm. But as these films remind us, behind that veil often lies a world of manipulation and grandiosity. A world that can be as fascinating as it is terrifying. Moving on, we encounter characters who showcase a disturbing lack of empathy and exploitative behavior, taking us into the darker realms of narcissism. In the cinematic universe, these traits are often amplified to chilling effect. Consider Patrick Bateman from American Psycho masterfully portrayed by Christian Bale. Bateman is the epitome of a high-functioning narcissist who harbors a terrifying secret. His lack of empathy is stark, evident in his casual indulgence in violent acts without a shred of remorse. The mask of sanity he wears in public starkly contrasts his true nature, demonstrating his manipulative and exploitative tendencies. Next up is Glenn Close's character, Alex Forrest, from Fatal Attraction. Forrest's obsession with a married man spirals into dangerous territory, showing us just how far a narcissist can go when their desires are thwarted. She exhibits extreme possessiveness, jealousy 
and manipulative tactics, all underpinned by a profound lack of empathy for the lives she disrupts. And then we have Matt Damon's Tom Ripley from the talented Mr. Ripley. Ripley is a fascinating study in narcissism, displaying an unsettling desire to become someone else entirely. His lack of empathy and remorse is shockingly apparent as he exploits others to fulfill his disturbing ambitions. His actions are driven by his pathological craving for the lives of those around him, and he goes to great lengths to obtain them, regardless of the consequences. These characters, with their lack of empathy and exploitative behaviour, present a chilling exploration of the darker side of narcissism. They manipulate, exploit and harm others without any apparent guilt or remorse, driven by their narcissistic desires and ambitions. They embody the more sinister aspects of narcissism, providing audiences with a disturbing yet compelling viewing experience. These characters truly demonstrate the darker side of narcissism, reminding us that while these are fictional portrayals, the traits they exhibit can be found in real-world individuals, making the study of narcissism all the more significant. Finally, let's explore characters who are driven by a fragile ego and a desperate need for admiration. The need to be admired, validated and constantly in the spotlight is a key aspect of narcissism. This is vividly portrayed in the characters of Terence Fletcher in Whiplash, Rigan Thompson in Birdman and Nina Sayers in Black Swan. Terence Fletcher, the music instructor in Whiplash, is an embodiment of a fragile ego. His abusive methods stem from his deep-seated insecurities and his need to control. Fletcher seeks a musician who reflects his own grandiosity and he stops at nothing to mould his students into his vision of perfection. His ego is so fragile that he can't bear the thought of a student surpassing him, and he uses manipulation and abuse to keep them in check. On the other hand, Rigan Thompson, the protagonist of Birdman, is a washed-up actor clinging to his past glory. His desperate need for validation drives him to extreme lengths, and he constantly battles the fear of becoming irrelevant. Riggan's ego is so fragile that he's willing to risk everything, even his sanity, to prove he's still relevant and worthy of admiration. Lastly, we have Nina Sayers from Black Swan, a ballerina consumed by her own ambition. Driven to self-destruction in her pursuit of perfection and recognition, Nina is a poignant example of how a fragile ego can lead to devastating consequences. Her obsession with being the perfect ballerina makes her lose touch with reality and her need for admiration pushes her to the brink of madness. These characters remind us of the destructive power of unchecked ambition and the need for external validation. Their stories serve as a stark reminder of how a fragile ego and a desperate need for admiration can lead to self-destruction. They are cautionary tales, warning us of the dangers of letting our ego and our need for validation dictate our actions. As we've seen, narcissism can take many forms on the silver screen, from the grandiose and manipulative to the cruelly exploitative and ego-driven. These characters serve as compelling case studies in understanding the complex nature of narcissistic personalities. In our exploration, we delved into the realm of grandiosity and manipulation, where characters like Amy Dunn from Gone Girl and Jordan Belfort from The Wolf of Wall Street wield their narcissism as a tool using it to craft devious plans and exploit others for personal gain. Their behaviour is characterised by excessive arrogance, entitlement and a grandiose sense of self-importance. We then ventured into the darker side of narcissism, where lack of empathy and exploitative behaviour take centre stage. Characters like Patrick Bateman from American Psycho and Alex Forrest from Fatal Attraction display a chilling disregard for the feelings of others engaging in disturbingly violent and manipulative actions. Finally, we examined characters whose narcissism is rooted in a fragile ego and a constant need for admiration. Terence Fletcher from Whiplash and Rigan Thompson from Birdman are examples of individuals whose need to control and be validated can drive them to extreme lengths. Their narcissism is a mask for their deep-seated insecurities and fear of insignificance. However, it's crucial to remember that these portrayals are not endorsements of such behaviour. They are cinematic explorations that offer a glimpse into the complex and often troubling world of narcissistic personalities.
The character's actions and the consequences thereof serve as reflections on the destructive potential of narcissistic traits, prompting us to question and critique such behavior. So the next time you watch a movie, try to see if you can spot these narcissistic traits in the characters. It can make for an interesting exercise in understanding human behavior and the darker aspects of personality. Remember, these portrayals of narcissism are not endorsements, but rather they offer a glimpse into the complex and often troubling world of narcissistic personalities.